Welcome to another yoga class with me. My name is Kathy. For today's class, we are going to need a mat, and if you prefer to hang on to a chair, have a chair handy as well. As far as clothing, you want to wear something comfortable that moves with your body. However, you want to make sure that you're not wearing your regular socks. And last but not least, listen to your body and work out with your own pace. Now we're going to start warming up our body. Let's open the legs about the hip to shoulder width apart and tuck the tailbone in. Lengthen the body up and lift the chest up. And start rolling the shoulders to the back and down. Now at the same time, you can bring your awareness to your breath as well as your body. And notice your inhalations and exhalations. Let's reverse it. And last one. And release. Let's shake it up. Shoulders to the back and down. Inhale, sending the arms forward, exhale down. Inhale, if we have no shoulder problems, we're going to lift it higher or as high as we can and exhale down. Let's try to keep the shoulders down as we lift the arms up. So it's not this, it's this. Let's do two more. And drop here is the last one. Lifting the arms all the way up and exhale, drop. Shake it up again, shoulders to the back. Let's open the arms to the side here. We inhale, lifting the chest up. And as we exhale, we're going to round up the back slightly, crossing the arms. Inhale, stretching out our chest and arms. Exhale. Inhale, open, and exhale, cross, gently coming out of the pose, dropping the arms down, and shake it up again. Standing nice and tall, tailbone is in, lengthening the arms up toward the sky, or as high as we can, and then as we exhale, we are going to gently twist the body and drop the arms down. Lengthening the arms up and down. Synchronizing the breath with the movement. Maybe if we feel comfortable. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more set. Lengthening the arms all the way up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Let's lift your arms up again and bring your arms to the side and drop. Shake it up here. Shoulders to the back and down. Let's put the hands here. We inhale, lift the body up. And as we exhale, we're just going to hinge from the hip flexors forward. Make sure your knees are bent. Inhale, tucking the tailbone and squeeze. Exhale, hinge. Lifting the torso up, tucking the tailbone in. Exhale down, knees are micro bent. Inhale, left. Exhale, drop. Let's lift the torso up and roll the shoulders to the back and down. Now we are going to open the legs a bit wider than the shoulder width apart. Extending the arms to the side, and then we are going to gently twist the body and reach the arm as for as a, a far as we can, and then we are going to bring it back to the side again. So reach the arm as far as you can and bring it in. 
and reach and in and reach and in let's switch it to the other side very gently twist the body reach the, the arm as far as you can and in and reach and in one last time reach and in and dropping the arms down shake it out here and shoulders to the back let's put the hands here or you can just have the arms hanging down you can hang on to your chair and then we are going to send this leg to the front and back and side and center maybe lifting the leg up supporting knees micro bend and center and side and center it's front center side center now you can continue doing this or you can lift your knee up supporting knees micro bend you can hang on to your chair bring this leg to the side and center and down and lift and side and center and drop one last time lift and side and center and drop let's shake it out here and switch it to the other side sending this leg to the front and center and side and center option lifting the leg up and center and side and center and lift and center and side and center again you can continue doing this or you can bend the knee lift up remember you can always hang on to a chair side center drop it's front side center drop front side center drop let's shake it up here and shoulders to the back and down inhale lengthening the arms up and exhale down let's send this leg to the back you can again hang on to the chair now inhale torque the tailbone in lift the heel in the back up and then as we exhale we're gonna um Activate the ankle or flex it and push the butt to the back. Avoid rounding up the back. So lift the heel up, tailbone is in, and toe up, heel up, toes up. Last time. and step forward now we're going to switch our legs sending the other leg to the back now tucking the tailbone and lifting the chest up and then pushing the butt to the back and once again tailbone in and lift tucking the tailbone in exhale here last time tailbone in flexing the ankle pushing the butt to the back dropping the toes down and bringing the legs together shake it up here shoulders to the back we inhale here and exhale let's open the legs about the shoulder width apart keep the tailbone in now we are going to inhale here and then as we exhale we're gonna send the butt to the back and come to maybe squat inhale or exhale coming to chair pose inhale lift exhale here one last time inhale and exhale 
Now let's shake it up here. Now we are going to stand up in front of our mat and start our yoga class. Okay, let's just stand up along the mat and open the legs wider than the shoulder width apart. Keep the tailbone in, chest up. Shoulders are slightly rolled to the back and down. With the next inhalation, we're going to lengthen the arms up, starfish fingers, and as we exhale, we're going to send the butt to the back and arms to the front. Knees are aligned with the ankles. Inhale, lengthening the arms up, tailbone is in. Exhale, sending the butt to the back. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, sending the arms to the front. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, down and hold. Knees are over the ankles, butt is to the back, shoulders are down, arms to the front and starfish fingers. This is sunflower pose. Now, inhale, lifting the arms up. And exhale, side. Keeping the legs open and tailbone in. Now lengthening the arms up to a V. Draw the shoulders down as you extend the arms out and keep the fingers open. We inhale here and as we exhale, we're going to keep the tailbone in, bend the knees and bring the elbows to the waist. Chest open. Starfish fingers. Inhale up. Tailbone in. Exhale down. Tailbone in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lengthening the arms up, keeping the tailbone in. Exhale, bending the elbows and bringing the elbows to the waist, chest open, shoulder blades together. Knees are over the ankles. And once again, tailbone is in. Coming to moonflower pose. Now inhale up. And exhale, sigh. Shake it up. Shoulders to the back and down. Knee, uh, legs are open, tailbone is in. Let's extend your arms to the side. And have the palms facing up toward the sky here. Chest is up. Now we inhale here. And as, as we exhale, we're going to keep the tailbone in and bend the knees. Knees are aligned with the ankles, tailbone is in, chest is open. Coming to sun pose, and palms are facing up toward the sky. Now inhale, up. Exhale, dropping your arms down, rolling the shoulders the back and down. Let's lift the back heel up and then we are going to turn to this side. Adjust your legs and make sure your toes are uh, pointing toward the uh, front and these toes are pointing to the side and corner. Now we are going to, to plant this foot completely on the floor as if you want to touch the floor with your small toe. Keep your knees slightly bent. And then you are going to twist the head to the front of the mat and tuck your tailbone in. Bend the front knee and make sure it stacks over the ankle. You should be able to see your toes from up here. Now lengthening the body up. With the next inhalation, we're going to lift the back heel up and lift your arms up. And as we exhale, we're going to drop the heel down and arms as well. Again, knees are still over the ankle, knees are still over the ankle. Inhale up, exhale. Starfish fingers, inhale, exhale. Here's the last one. Inhale, lengthening the arms up. Let's keep the arms up and as we exhale, we're going to plant the back heel down, bend the front knee, tuck the tailbone in. <coughs> Excuse me. And keep the head in the front. Coming to warrior one. Back knees are slightly bent. Now inhale, lift the back heel up. Exhale, pivot the back toe. 
and opening the head to the side. Now, these toes are pointing, pointing to the side and these toes are pointing to the front of the mat. Now, let's twist the head to the side and keep the tailbone in. Knees are above the ankles here. Extending the arms out and coming to warrior two. Now inhale up, exhale bending the knee again, keeping the tailbone in. Inhale here, keep the tailbone in as you're performing this exercise or if this pose. And remember you can always hang on to the chair. Inhale here and exhale up. Here is the last time we are going to come down and hold it here. Keeping the tailbone in and hip to the side. Let's turn the head to the side and have the palm facing up here. Now with the next inhalation, we're going to lengthen the body forward and exhale. Now inhale, lift this arm up, up, up. Exhale, hold. Coming to reverse warrior, trying to lift the chest up. Keeping the knee bent in the front, above the ankle. Inhale here, exhale, releasing the pose and coming back to warrior two. Now let's straighten, <coughs> excuse me, straighten this knee and then we are going to very gently either hang on to the chair or bring the heel in, toe in, heel in, toe in. Very gently bring this leg closer and then turn all the way to the side. Adjust the leg in the back and tuck your tailbone in. Heel is up. Let's shift the weight to the front leg here and extend the arms out. Option, hang on to the chair. Now, coming to modified warrior three. You can stay here. Again, you can hang on to the chair or if you want more, you may shift your weight completely on this leg and let this leg off the floor. Supporting knee is bent. You can keep it bent as much as you need. Avoid dropping the head down. Head, neck and back are all aligned. Now we inhale here. That was actually warrior three. Now inhale here. Exhale. Step forward. Shoulders to the back. Inhale, lengthening the arms up towards the sky. Exhale. Now hinging forward from here and we're going to lengthen the crown of the head to the front but to the back. Bend the knees and lift the butt up. Make sure the knees are bent as much as you need. Now extend the arms to the back and open the chest. Twist the arms to have the palms facing the sky. Head, neck, <coughs> head, neck and back are all aligned. Coming to airplane pose. Chest is open, shoulder blades together, palms are up, knees are bent, back is flat. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale in coming to Uttadasana or chair pose. Avoid arching the back. So you want to keep the tailbone in and bring your hands to prayer pose. Now inhale up. Exhale down. Now we are going to do all of these on the other side with our other leg. Now let's just stand up on the mat again and open the legs to a V, wider than the shoulder width apart. Toes are pointing out, shoulders are down. Now inhale, lengthening the arms toward the sky here. 
And then as we exhale, we are going to send the butt to the back and arms to the front. Knees are over the ankles. Inhale, starfish fingers. Tailbone is in. Exhale down. Knees are over the ankles. Butt to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale. Hold, coming to sunflower pose. Knees are over the ankles, butt to the back, and arms to the front. Now, inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale, sigh. Shoulders to the back and down. Lengthening the arms up to a V, starfish fingers. We inhale here. And then as we exhale, we're going to tuck the tailbone in and bring the elbows to the waist, pushing the knees away. Inhale up. Exhale. Knees are over the ankles. Chest open. Inhale left. Tailbone is in. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale, keeping the tailbone in, bending the knees, elbows to the waist, chest open, starfish fingers, moonflower pose. Inhale left, exhale side. Remember you can hang on to the chair if you want to. Now inhale, sending the arms up, having the palms facing toward the sky, shoulders down, chest up, tailbone in, we inhale here, and as we exhale, we're going to keep the tailbone in and bend the knees and come into sun pose, trying to keep the knees above the ankle. Inhale up. Exhale. Now very gently, we're going to turn to this side. Now, these toes are pointing forward and the back toes are pointing to the side. Now we are going to press our foot down in the back and make sure we keep the knees slightly bent. Tailbone is in, turn, bend the front knee and make sure the stacks over the ankle. Now, inhale, arms up, starfish fingers, exhale down. Inhale, left, back heel up, tailbone is in, exhale down. You can hang on to the chair if you want to. And down. Here is the last one. Inhale. Arms up. Keeping the arms up. Exhale. Planting the back heel down. Bending the front knee. Trying to twist the hip to the front. Shoulder, shoulders down. Pressing the back. Uh, the, sorry. Pressing the small toe toward the uh, the earth. Inhale, lifting the back heel up. Exhale, pivoting the back toe and turning to the side. These toes pointing this way and these toes are pointing forward. Tuck the tailbone in and twist the hip. Keep the knee bent above the ankle, extending the arms out. Now inhale here, straightening this knee. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale warrior two and hold. Knee above the ankle. Pressing that foot down toward the earth, trying to keep the 
hip twisted to the side, shoulders down, chest up. Now let's turn the head this way and have the palm facing up toward the sky. Inhale, reaching the arm as far as we can to the front and then exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, hold. You can have your other hand here. You can put it on the lower back if you want to. Trying to lift the chest up as well. Starfish finger. Coming to reverse warrior. Inhale here. Exhale, releasing the po pose. Now from here, we're gonna either hang on to the chair or very gently bring this leg in and then we are going to turn all the way to the side. Now, toes are pointing forward here. Tuck the tailbone in and shift the weight to the front leg. Extending the arms up. Coming to modified warrior three. You can either stay here, you can hang on to the chair, or you can lift this leg up. Front knees micro bent. Again, your option is to have the toe down or hang on to the chair. And step forward. Now from here, we are going to open the legs about the hip width apart. Inhale, lifting your arms up. And as we exhale, we're gonna bend the knee and push the butt to the back. Hinge forward, coming to airplane pose. Extending the arms to the back and twisting the arms to have the palms facing up toward the sky. Trying to keep the chest open. Head, neck and back are all aligned. Knees are either bent like this or micro bent. Avoid dropping the head down. Airplane pose. Palms are facing up. Lengthen the arms and fingers toward the back wall as you lengthen the crown of the head to the front. Now inhale, arms up. Exhale, coming to chair pose. Pushing the butt to the back. or Uktadasana. Inhale, arms up. And exhale. Now we are going down on the floor. So, come to the front of the mat. Tailbone is in. Inhale, lengthening the arms up. Exhale, hinge. Forward fold, bending the knees. And very gently, Come all the way down. You can hang on to the chair if you want to. Now inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, forward fold. Now, let's walk back with the feet and then one, one knee at a time. Drop down and Send the butt to the back and come into child pose. Resting on the forehead here. That's number one, one option. Number two option, keeping the butt up and head up as well. Number three option is keeping the arms out and butt up, coming to active child pose. So any version of child pose is accepted. Now from here we're going to come to all four, hands are under 
the shoulders, knees are under the hips. I'm just gonna clean up my mat before I go all the floor, uh -oh. I mean, all the way on the floor. And then from here, I'm going to send my butt to the back, extend this arm out, and rest my forehead down, stretching out my arm. If you have a yoga block, you can always put your forehead on a yoga block. If you don't, you can put your forehead on a pillow and rest your forehead on a pillow if you cannot reach the floor. And very gently come up and switch your leg, switch your arm. the chest, draw the shoulders to the back, point the toes out and tailbone in. Legs are about the hip width apart. Now we are going to inhale here and exhale and then we're going to lift our chest up and hold. Bring the chin slightly and keep the tailbone in. Now we are going to bend. rest on one cheek, bend the knee, grab your um, socks, your pants, if you're wearing water shoes or anything or regular shoes, grab your shoes or your toes if you can reach. Now tuck your tailbone in and turn your head to the center. Stretching out your quadriceps and hip flexors here. Gently release and switch it to the other side. Bend your knee, grab your pants, shoes, socks, whatever you can, and then to deepen the stretch, tuck your tailbone in. Releasing the pose, let's put the hands by the chest, we are going to inhale here, exhale, pushing the body up, and then from here we're going to drop one step down, and come to staff pose, sending the legs out, sitting on the very, very last bone of the butt. Rolling the shoulders to the back. We inhale here. Exhale, knees are bent, ankles are activated. We are going to hinge, avoid rounding up the back. And we are going to lengthening the body forward. Make sure you're not locking the knees. Keeping the ankles activated. Inhale up. 
Exhale, once again, lengthening the body forward and down. Bring your arms all the way up. Now this time we are going to bring one, bend one knee, keeping this other leg extended. Lift the body up. We are going to inhale here. And then as we exhale, we are going to hinge forward. Aim for the cat ankle or your toes, keeping the ankle activated. Avoid locking the knee. Inhale up. Exhale. Let's come all the way up and roll the shoulders to the back and down. Let's extend this leg out and bend this other knee, keeping the ankle activated or flexed sitting on the very last bone of the butt we inhale again and as we exhale we're going to hinge from the hip flexors aiming for the calf ankle or toes knees again this knee is macro bent or bend it as much as you need gently up. Exhale, coming all the way up and roll the shoulders to the back and down. And bringing the soles of the feet together, coming to butterfly pose. Now push the butt to the back. If you need to put a towel under your butt, please do so. You don't want to feel this exercise, exercise on your lower back. So you can either hang on to your ankles or your toes and sit tall. Chest up. Keeping the body tall. Crown up the head toward the sky. Avoid rounding up the back as much as possible. And once again, if your back is round it and you can feel it on your lower back you need to put a towel under the butt here now just bring your arms to the back and lift the chest up Releasing the pose. Very gently turn. And we're going to lay on the back if we want. Now let's open the arms to the side here and open the legs as wide as the uh, mat apart as wide as the width of the mat. Now, with the next inhalation, we're going to hold it here, and then as we exhale, we're going to drop the knees to one side, trying to keep both shoulders down on the floor. Inhale, lifting the knees up. Exhale, dropping the knees to the other side. Mm -hmm. 
dropping the knees side to side very gently and slowly. Preferably synchronizing the movement with our breath and breath in and out in our own pace. Making sure both shoulders are touching, touching the earth as we are performing this movement. Drop the knees to one side and hold it here. Maybe turning the head to the opposite side. Gently lift the knees up and try and dropping them to the other side and hold again. Maybe turning the head to the opposite side. Noticing our breath. Now, knees up. Let's slide the body up to fix our shoulders and extend the legs out and come into last relaxation pose, Shavasana. So your option to, is to stay here or if you have lower back problem, you may bend your knees. Now, close the eyes gently. <coughs> Eyes are gently closed. Facial muscles are relaxed. Power. Sorry. Soften your breath. Now let's bring your awareness to your body and scan your body from toe to head. Noticing if there is any tension and letting go of it. Relaxing our toes and ankles, shins and knees, our thighs, relaxing our hips and lower back and abdominals. Let go of any tightness from the chest and shoulder blades. Shoulders, arms and fingers are relaxed. Neck and collarbone are relaxed. Unclench your jaw. 
Release the tongue. Loosening the muscles around the eyes and frown. And allowing the whole body to relax. Now, bend the knees, extend one arm out, and turn your whole body to that side, and use your arm as a pillow. Now place your other hand right in front of your chest. Press the palms down. Inhale here. And exhale, coming all the way up to a seated pose. Maybe easy cross pose. Maybe extending the legs out. It's up to you. Now let's roll the shoulders to the back and down. Now with the next inhalation, we're going to lengthen the arms all the way up toward the sky, gathering energy, palms together. And as we exhale, we're going to send this energy to the center of our body, to our heart, where we are all related. Namaste. Keep the eyes closed. And whenever you're ready, open the eyes. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me, and I hope you like this class. Take care of yourself, and I see you in my next class or next video. Bye.